George Zimmerman, the man who was acquitted of homicide in the 2012 fatal shooting of Trayvon Martin, is suing the boy's family for $100 million. He's also suing <laughs> prosecutors and a book publisher. The suit accuses the Martin family of engineering false testimony. Wow. So, you know, I covered this trial day in and day out for CNN and HLN. I interviewed Trayvon's family, and let me tell you what a classy, um, kind-hearted, but shattered family. And not only did they have to go through that trial, not only did they have to lose their son, and listen, George Zimmerman was found innocent, but many people believe that Trayvon Martin was murdered, including his family. Um, but then to see George Zimmerman profit from selling the weapon that killed their son for almost $140,000. So this is a gentleman who has, I don't even know if I can call him a gentleman, considering, I don't want to sound biased here, but considering everything that I saw in those documents, a monster who has profited already off of this family and now continually harassing this family. This is a ploy, um, just, just so everyone's aware of this. Um, his 15 minutes are up. There is clearly support coming from somewhere. His, he has a very high-powered attorney um, to, in, in order to get him back into the headlines. Uh, all of this is just ridiculous. When it really comes down to it, we're not even talking about did he kill Trayvon Martin or not. We all know that he killed him. He documented it himself. But many so, people would say he stood his ground. Erica, let me tell you, there are when I covered the trial, there are so many people that stand behind George Zimmerman. To this day, there are blogs, there are influential people that are continuously uh, funding his side projects, if you want to call them mm -hmm. that, because they believe that he was standing his ground and he had every right to do so, and now he is uh, being somewhat uh, uh, maligned by our social system. Well, everyone has their own agenda. Um, do they believe that he stood his ground? He stood on ground. Yeah. Um, but I, as a conceal and carry holder, I can tell you right now, I had a break-in in my house, and I was told specifically that if the man was walking towards the door, I could not shoot in my own home. Yeah. So I don't know if it's a semantics issue. I think that what we're really talking about are people who really want him back in the forefront so that we're discussing him. And he can go to hell for yeah. as far as I'm concerned. I know, he's a Because disgrace. I have nothing else to say about it. No, he's an absolute disgrace. It's just heartbreaking. My, my thoughts and prayers for that family. And I hope that they get as much support financially and emotionally as um, I'm sure that many influential people will give them.